Lego came out with brand new build sets, so let's make a brand new dock in Lego Fortnite. Now, I previously built a fishing dock in this game on the shore biome using the same type of builds, but much darker, coming from the snow biome builds that we were able to create. Now in game, we got these brand new beach houses and a complete beach theme added into Lego Fortnite. So I'm gonna be using these builds exclusively today in order to build myself a really nice fishing fishing dock and I promise at the end of this video I think you guys are going to be convinced that this is the best Lego bundle that you guys can get out of the three. Now everything I had set up here was done with dark wood or just wood in general and it had more of a cabin feel than it did an actual shore biome feel. So now we have these all white beach stairs which look really nice in the game. So I actually want to start off with these all white stairs that they gave us. Now there's a few more things that need to be added into this. Like again, removing all of these floors, removing these railings. I want this to look once again, more like a shore village or something that you could really see in real life on a shore rather than seeing this more cabin and dark wood style. But I'm pretty much going to work with this exact same set that I have right now. I'm just gonna change all of the colors and make it look much nicer. Now, if you didn't watch my original video on making this biome or this deck on this outside shore biome village. What I did was I actually took the prefab that Epic gave you for your shore fishing deck and I built the deluxe one and I just swapped all of the actual shack builds and replace them with the wooden builds. So you guys could do exactly that because I'm keeping that same exact design. This is the exact same thing as the deluxe design on the game. But what I'm doing is I'm actually swapping all of the shack builds for these white floors instead. So now when I have this built up, you're gonna have all white around rather than the shack build or alternatively, all of the dark wood that I previously used. Now that the floors are done, we have to move on to the walls. Now, the thing I really love about the shore biome walls is that we do have these all blue ones and they do come with these nice windows in them. So what I'm going to do is just simply replace all of my walls and make sure that I have the all light blue. That way it looks a lot nicer for the shore biome village. Again, because we're building the fishing dock in the shore biome, we want to obviously use the shore windows, the shore walls, or the beachy walls with this. If you guys don't have this Lego set and you guys have Der Burger, or maybe you guys didn't buy either of them, you could still use any set in the game and still follow this build along with me and create it on your own, whether that's with the all white builds that come from the castle, from the all blue builds, from the snow biome, or even with the wooden builds like I previously had. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add my corner piece pieces in, kind of turn them, make it look a little bit nicer than what it does. And I'll actually fix that later. But now my village will actually more so look like this with the white floors, the white inside walls, but the blue outer walls, which gives it that really nice hint of blue. Now I do have to go ahead and shout out a few people in this video while I break down this lounge area and completely redo it. The Modernist is a YouTube channel that goes ahead and creates the most unique and awesome things in this game. And later on in this video, I'm gonna show you a few builds that he has put up that I used in this video here. I also have my guy Terror, who is a longtime sub and supporter in the Discord, who actually helped me with one of these builds as well. And every single person that was in the YouTube live stream last night that watched me build this, I took recommendations and help from them all throughout the stream, and they really were the ones that helped create this. Now you guys could see I removed those wooden supports and replaced them with the all white beachy supports, which makes it look so much nicer on the inside. Really the only things left to do as far as the regular build goes is to take down these wooden lights that the modernist has shown before on his channel and then replace that all dark blue ceiling with a lighter blue ceiling. Now a nice little trick that I used in this video and in this build is actually putting lanterns in the the roof. Now, the reason why I did that was in that first clip, what you guys were able to see is that the inside was still lit up 
even though there was no light in that room. And the way that this works is any lanterns and candles and different things like that can actually light up the interior in the room, whether that's below or above it. So these actually go and light up below them through the floor and will light up that entire inside area of this deck. So which that makes it really nice. Again, there's no more clanky light bulbs. There's no more clanky candles or posts or anything like that. You actually actually have invisible lights in the game that beam down and light up the entire room. Now, when it comes to roofs in this game, you always need to make sure that you have a really solid corner piece. So what I like to use is the hips. It doesn't matter what build you're using, whether you're following me exactly, or you're building this with a different type of material, the beachy hip or any hip is perfect to round out your walls or round out your ceiling. So now all that I have to do now that I have my four corners, Corners placed in with the hip is just grab any piece in the game and I just have them now have to connect them all throughout. So I actually have the beachy roof four will connect one time to all four corners and make this look absolutely incredible all across the top. Now all I have to do is fill in that top middle part, which could be done with an extremely large white floor. And that'll fill up this entire area right here and close the whole thing off. Now, if you guys are using the prefab from the original short biome stuff, you guys know that that fishing deck does have railings and it also has fences all around the area. So if you guys are building up on your stairs, what I have is the Durburger takeout railings. They're this light blue that match the short biome walls which are really really nice however it doesn't come with the set so you would need both if you guys don't have both that's completely fine the all white railings look just as good i really like those as well i just like the way that this kind of hints at that light blue build with the white and the blue and white in my opinion looks incredibly clean and looks like one of the nicer builds that you guys could have in the game so if you guys have them definitely use them but if not just build your rail and then build a fenced area all around this deck. Now this video is a little unorganized because I was doing this on stream, but when I finished up those decks and I finished up putting the railings all around, I noticed that inside of the roof for this specific build, there's little cracks in the corners. So what I actually figured out that you could do is you can actually place a wide floor or you know set up on the roof and you can actually create a second layer on that top level and connect these pieces in a perfect square. So what this actually does is it gives it an even steeper look or an even more closed in look with that white ceiling to it, which I think looks really, really nice. Now, the other thing that is awesome about this when it comes to that is what I talked about earlier on in the video, where now you have this lower ceiling where you can grab lights or you can grab lanterns or candles and you could place them on the inside of this area and it'll actually light up the inside and like i told you guys earlier when it comes to these lanterns they look really nice through the floors however they do take a copper bar and a piece of bright core which is kind of expensive because bright core isn't the easiest to find if you guys have gone throughout your entire dry valley so again that is up to you whether you want to use candles or you want to go ahead and use these instead put that white floor right above it once again or floor that off and now you see that this inside is completely lit up and there's no lights showing at all, which makes it look a lot cleaner. Now, this is the part where Terror and the Modernist have helped so much. If you build yourself support beams inside of the water and put one piece of white floor above it, you could actually connect it and have a lantern falling from the top part of it, which obviously makes this look even better in the game. So I'm going to do this on the other side as well, but what I did was a white post and then I used the gray lantern to come out of the top. All that you need in order to do this is grab any of the support pillars in the game. I did the all white beachy pillar one and then connect this up three total times. Again, it might be a little off level because of the way that the waves are or the depth of the water. Put one floor at the top of that and extend it all the way in so nothing's hanging off and then get yourself a courtyard lantern, connect it to the inside of this and then nudge it all the way out. And that's 
going to give you this look of a hanging light over your fishing dock, which ultimately makes this look so much better. Now, I know that some people are going to think that the outside dock where you would be fishing looks really dull. I did try to look for some decorations for it. I couldn't find anything that looks too nice. However, the inside decorations that I did, I find to look really, really good. I got the brand new blue swirl rug down there. Obviously the beach lounge chairs. I have a surfboard on there, a life raft on there, and that all pink legendary jellyfish looks absolutely incredible on the wall, especially done at night. Now I'm going to be live once again tonight at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time, finishing up my village and giving myself the best design possible on here. So if you guys want to come and help me not only build this set area, but also go ahead and take a look at some of the new builds that were added into the game and help me design, make sure you guys tune in to the channel tonight at seven o'clock and there should be a link to the stream in there or it'll be done inside of the discord let me know what you guys think of this shore biome village build and what you guys think of this fishing deck if you guys like it if you guys are going to use it and replace some of the builds or if you guys like it with the shore biome builds hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always guys this was crafty i'm out peace